Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's a pleasure to meet you again in MA3051. I am Edi Tribaskoro from FMIPA ITB. Today's lecture is an edge card in a graph. Enjoy listening. Let's start with the definition. A cut edge in a graph G is an edge E such that omega G minus E is greater than omega G itself. This definition says that a cut edge in G is an edge E whenever you remove E from the graph G then the resulted graph has more component than the previous one. Okay, for example, the graph G here has four cut edges. This is the first one, second, third, and fourth. Yeah. So if this edge you remove, then the resulted graph has more component than the previous G. Or if you remove this edge, this or this one. Now, we are going to prove this theorem. Every cut edge of G cannot be in a cycle. Let E be a cut edge of G. Since the removal of E will give more components in the resulted graph, then there are two vertices x and y that are connected in g but not connected in g minus e this is the situation i draw in the right uh, figure whenever you remove h e here we have more component one contains x here and then the other component contains y and x and y are connected in g but not connected after we remove an edge e therefore a path p connecting x and y must traverse e in g let e connecting u and v in g and then now consider the graph g minus e after remove removal of e x connected to u by using segments of p and then y is also connected to v by using the segment of p if e were in a cycle of c for example like here then vertices u and v would be connected in g minus e after removal of e by a path this purple path thus x and y would be connected in g minus e this is a contradiction with the facts of point one so we have proved this theorem now we are going to see these uh, wonderful theorems a connected graph is a tree if and only if every edge is cut edge so this is the illustration if you have a tree t and then whenever you remove any edge in this tree then the tree becomes disconnected right because tree is a minimal connected graph so whenever you remove one edge then the tree becomes disconnected so the number of components of t minus e for any edge e in t will be greater than the number of components of t. Now let us see the proof. This is from left to right. 
let e any an edge in t then e must be not in a cycle by our previous theorem 2.4 e will be a cut's edge right and then from right to left suppose g is uh, connected and g is not a three then g must contain a cycle c right by our previous theorem 2.4 no edge in c is a cut edge so contradiction therefore we have this theorem now we define a spanning tree of any graph g is a spanning subgraph of g that is a tree and then we have this corollary let g be a connected graph then g has a spanning tree and then second the number of edges of g at least equal this number so the number of vertices of g minus one let's see in the proof for the first one let g be a connected graph and t be a minimal connected spanning subgraph of g then the omega of t is equal one so because t is a connected and the omega of t minus e for any e in t must be greater than one right because this is a minimal then it follows that each edge is a cut edge and then by theorems 2.4 we conclude that t is a tree now we prove the second assertion since g is a connected graph then by the first assertion we have that g contains a spanning tree so the number of edges of g is greater than the number of edges in t and the number of edges in t because t is a tree we have uh, v t minus one and then because t is a spanning subgraph of g then we have the number of vertices of t equal the number of vertices of g then we have this uh, second assertion so we prove this uh, corollary now we have another wonderful theorems t is a spanning tree of a graph g and e is an edge in g but not in t then t plus e contains unique cycle let's see in the proof since t is cyclic graph then each cycle in t plus e must contain e yeah and then c is a cycle in t plus e if and only if c minus e is a path in t connecting the ends of the edge e yeah and then this part is unique so that t plus e contains a unique cycle now let pay attention to the following definition s and s prime are subset of phi g and denote by this symbol for the set of all edges in g connecting a vertex from s to another vertex in s prime now define edge cut of g is a subset of e of the form s 
comma s bar where s bar is the set of all vertices other than in capital s and then define a bond of g is a minimal edge cut now see this example if s is the set of these vertices in g then s bar will be the set of these vertices in g and the set of red edges here will be an edge cut of g with respect to s okay and then if you take s is the set of these five vertices one two three four five and then the remaining vertices will be on s bar then you will have a bound of g which is the minimal edge cut with respect to this s now consider the following definition if k is a subgraph of g then the complement of k with respect to g is the subgraph of g minus the set of all edges in k if g is connected and t is a spanning tree of g then the complement of t denoted by t bar is a call a co tree of g now we have another wonderful theorem let t be a spanning tree of a connected graph g then for every e prime in the co tree there is a unique cycle in g containing e prime and some edges in t second for every edge e in t there is a unique bond of g containing e and some edges in co tree this is the illustration let g be a graph and then t is a spanning tree of a graph g then every e prime here you will have a cycle unique cycle this cycle containing a prime and some edges in t and every e in t there is a unique bond of g containing e and some edges in co tree if you take this e then the bond consists of this edge and then this one this one that one and this one now let's see in the proof let e prime is in the co tree and e prime is x y then there is a path from x to y in t yeah this path together with e prime will form a unique cycle in g so for example if e prime is this edge then in t you have a path from x to y which is this path together with e prime will form a cycle in g for the second part let e in t and e is an edge it's y then e is a cut edge in t right and denote by s the vertex set of one of the two components of t minus e so when you remove e from t you will have two components right first component is this one and then second component is this one and denoted by s this component then the edge cut b induced by s is clearly a bound of g containing e and some edges in co 3 
just a bone is a unique and consists of these edges, these red edges, four red edges, and an edge E. So we have proved this theorem. Okay, so thank you and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.